multiply wall hack. Instead of um, drawing the texture as normal, we uh, paint that texture our chosen color, which I believe is r uh, green. Yes, yeah, green. So we're saying just disable the Z buffer. We we do that. We've already written that code on our apply wall hack. Disable the Z buffer on that texture and paint that texture red. Okay. So that way it's red, really bright. We can see it from everywhere, and it's uh, the Z buffer is disabled on it. Uh, so that way we can, um, you know, see through walls and stuff. And that's pretty much it. So what I'm going to do now is load up COD and show you. Um, actually, what what you got to do first thing, I just remember this. What you got to do, um, obviously you got your files required here. Uh, as usual, this will bring up um, a hack, not hack, a virus sign. If you got your antivirus on. I recommend you either disable it temporarily for a few minutes or something like that because what this does is it changes memory in the game and um, you know uh, it's normal for bloody uh, antiviruses to think and they'll, they'll flag this up like it's uh, nothing to it. Mine, if you saw it earlier, uh, mine flagged up GX inject and it's what it does. Uh, there's nothing you can do with that about that. So what you've got to do is double click on um, on this and you should have your model log uh, right here. Um, and make sure it says IW3MP. Otherwise, uh, go here and uh, change the name on this. So to IW3MP. Now, if you're doing Modern Warfare, if you're not, um, make sure it's MP because it's multiplayer. If you're not using Modern Warfare, this is a bit trick of, tr trickier for you. So using whatever game you've got. Um, but I can't provide support to every game out there. Just letting you know that. That's why I recommended you guys to get uh, Call of Duty 4 because it's a good example. And this can be applied to any DirectX game. So I'm going to start up the game now. Um, yeah, so. Okay, so a quick thing you have to do before um, starting the game is um, go on PZBot, go to the README, click on the installation file, and then have a look here for this text here. SVR PZBot Ally. So copy that, and we're going to need to paste that in game because that's how we're going to find out our textures. So just do that. Okay, so here we are in the game, and now we're going to find out our textures. Now, first thing you should be seeing is uh, you, you make sure you double-clicked auto-inject and stuff before the game, and then you would have seen the um, this little menu here, and that's um, Stripes Model Logger. Um, so we go here, start a new game, uh, time limit zero. So put this, or you got plenty of time to do this because it this is the most difficult part of the uh, tutorial, but it's doable if you follow my instructions. So what this does, this tells us what textures are, um, are currently... Make sure you choose Marines, by the way, because of the way we spawn allies. If you choose something else, then... Uh, if you choose up 4, the, the allies will spawn on the Marines base, and they will actually be enemies and not allies. So first thing you do, just paste that and put about uh, 5 uh, friendlies, and hopefully they'll spawn here. If you're quickly uh, doing this, they'll all spawn right here. And um, that will be much better, because that, that way we can compare everyone, pretty much. So... <clears throat> um, so here they are all the bots. Now you do have to get used to doing this in multiplayer games. Now the reason why I chose this because it's a difficult game to do, and uh, this is only to give you the idea of the um, approach you got to take to get those uh, textures. So first thing you got to do, as you can see, you can move around the menu by pressing up and down and all that stuff. Uh, you can press delete to turn things on and off. Right? You can use delete to save your values and stuff. Uh, but we're not going to be using that feature because I don't really like it that much. I don't find it that useful. Uh, just going to rip a page up here. I the notes. I don't need them anymore. Um, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm I'm loading this in full screen and not on the desktop because the game would be too slow otherwise. So that's why I'm focusing this on the game. Uh, but I'm going to open a notepad here on the side, and I recommend you guys do the same so we can write some notes. Um, uh, notepad file. Yeah, so we can do the same. All right. So what we do is uh, we turn on numvert first, and we start looking for things. Now we're looking for textures that turn red. So first thing we're going to do is going to search close by. All right. So the way these um, numverts work is you can get you can grab a specific texture close by, and then you need to grab it again mid range and then further away. Although you won't always grab the same one, but you just need to have enough texture stored so that you can draw your cams and you can always see that enemy um, so we're standing here right in front of them now we're only going to focus on like uh, a couple of textures I'm not going to go through all the textures because that would take ages because there's a lot of textures to, to grab num vertices and stuff um, so I'm just going to show you how we do it so first start pressing this and you'll see certain things change color and, and so on but we're focusing on things that go red 
right? Guns, see that gun went red, we can make camps for that gun. We don't want to do that because guns, uh, that means everyone with that gun will get the camps put on them, on the actual gun. So let's keep going until we get something flashing red. Gun again, we don't care about that. Get an angle to grab, uh, to grab everyone's. So just hold, there we go, so we get our first one. So you see right here, 63, um, we got someone turn red. Now you see that he's flashing and stuff. Now when we do it, um, they won't be flashing. You see it'll disappear in a second. So let's store 63. So I'm going to write the number 63 down. 63 for num vertices. So um, you can do this with strides and so on. Now I, obviously I can't cover the whole subject of uh, model logging here. So if you guys want another tutorial, I don't mind doing something for, uh, for example, Black Ops Zombies. That would be a lot simpler to do. Uh, and then you'd be in action, you have zombies after you and you'd be doing it whilst uh, you try and survive. So that would be one way of doing it. Um, so if you guys like, leave leave a comment or whatever and uh, anyone else give some love to that comment. Oh, there's an email. Um, give some love to that comment and, and I'll make that tutorial as soon as I can. Um, l like most of you know, I'm a bit busy right now, but I will make that tutorial as it, it will only take me about an hour. So there's the first one. So, uh, because uh, let me see if there's a good example to this. There isn't. Now, don't worry about the yellow for now. I'm not really sure what the yellow does, but um, from what I know, it doesn't grab what we want to grab. So, we've got the red there, so we're going to store the number 63. So, we've got 63. Now, because grabbing the number of vertices isn't enough, um, as that could be the same number for another texture, for example, look, look down there, see? Uh, as you can see there in yellow, that is highlighting something else, which means to narrow down exactly what that texture is, we gotta turn on prim count and find the exact prim count for that. So this is quite simple. All you do is you hold this down and until it flashes. So once there you go, you see that? Once it flashes, it means you found the right one. So it's 62 for prim count for num vertices and six uh, the other way around actually 63 for num vertices and 62 for prim count. So store those two numbers, 63 comma 62. Now we've got that. So let's do, press delete on prim count and then look look for anything else. So hold that down. Once again, we found a gun. We don't care about guns. What do we find there? Ignore the yellow as usual. Look at the eyes. Dun 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 dun. Yes. Yeah, so keep going. Keep going. There we go. We got a hat. So um, we got a hat. So we're gonna store that 110. So that's our next thing. 110. And now we're only doing range. You can do this for any map, for any uh, thingy. And this does take a while. Now some people do put these things online because some people go through the work of finding everything. But you do have to get used to this in case uh, other people don't put it on online. So by pressing page down, you can increase what you go up and down by. But I never recommend you go up by anything other than one because you might skip the texture you're looking for. So now we do the same again until we find the hat. <clears throat> let's go, let's go, where's that hat, there we go, there it is so there it is, 122, so we can store that 122, now press delete again on that, so we ignore it, and let's keep going we find something else, look at that, 114 we've got that texture there, 114 by, we just need to find what it is um, press delete on that, go back to zero, because it could be a very low number, don't go Sometimes you get lucky because the number's usually close to the um, numvert, but not always. So now we got that. Let's store that as um, 162. So we got that one. Now the idea is to get as many as possible. I'm not going to go through every single one, but I will get a few more. Um, so we've got that. Try and get a bodysuit or whatever. There's something else. Some more equipment. Now what we have to bear in mind is to make sure the enemies don't have the exact same equipment and most of the time they won't but sometimes they will so if they do that then you ignore that texture once you draw the cams you'll see uh, if it draws just on your friendlies or the enemies as well okay so the idea, oh look at that, see this is exactly why we can't um, have just a number of look how many things flash up see look at that um, see, so if we did roll our cams with just numvert uh, equals 151, all these things would flash up and we will not that. Um, so then we press delete on this and we look for it. There we go, we found it straight away by going down. So it's usually nearby, not always though. So if it's not nearby, start from zero and go all the way up. It can be boring, but that's just how it is. So we've got that. Um, press delete there and let's keep going, keep going, see what else we can find. Da -da -da -da. Here we go, found something else, let's ignore that piece of equipment, that's nothing special. Um, if you're talking about things like grenades, look at that, we could put cams on a sniper. How about that? Uh, that looks good. Uh, but we don't want to do that. Uh, what's that that we just found? Yeah, that's the headgear for this guy, and let's keep that. Um, that'll be useful. 
356 and because these as you obviously can tell they're different models of characters they all have different things so what we're covering is mostly one model but um, some things do apply to multiple models so let's put that there and let's go up a little bit if we can't find it we'll go back to zero but hopefully we'll find it flash there you go beautiful look at that so 262 so 356 by 262 we've got that let's keep going see what else we can find at the moment we're only finding small things there'll be a point where we'll find a whole probably a whole character body there we go we got some more stuff let's store that so 455 and like I said to you you need to store close range mid range and long range because they're all different cams so just because something is 455 for the vest or for the equipment at close range doesn't mean it will be that at mid range it most likely won't be that so let's press delete on that and let's find it da -da 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 -da. Uh, come on, come on, come on. This is probably one of those that we need to go. No, never mind. We got it. Beautiful. Uh, so that's 448. This will be tricky for you to do at first, but after a while you get a bit of a hang to it. Um, so 455, let's keep moving. Dun -dun -dun. What have we got? Yellow, we don't care about yellow. We got some stuff like s weapon, we don't care about that. Uh, come on, just make sure you keep paying attention as you're increasing. There we go, we found some stuff. Um, so this seems to be equipment again. Um, that when that flashes, don't worry about that. It usually just means you should just st store it as well. Is there some hands I think, or those gloves? Uh, seems to be hands. Yeah, those seem to be hands. Um, what's this guy? Yeah, that guy's got hands. So yeah, this seems to be hands. So let's store those. Six hundred eighty-six, six eight six, comma. Now, if anyone's done this before and you feel as though you know a bit more about this than me, then feel free to leave a comment to uh, point people in the right direction. I'm doing this based on my knowledge, obviously, and uh, as usual, I don't know everything. So let's just keep going, keep going, keep going. I think we'll have to start from zero on this one. Ah, uh, crap. I'll go a little bit more, maybe. There we go. We found it. See, sometimes it's close, other times it isn't. See, 952 there. 952. If it got to about a thousand, I would have started from zero because it probably wouldn't be been around there. So we got the hands. Yellow. Did it come on? Speed, speed. Just hold that down. So we got hands again. Now I don't know if there's any point storing this again. Look at that head. Don't worry about that if it's yellow. Just focus on the uh, red stuff. Um, okay, come on, come on. What else can we find? So that's equipment again. We've got tons of equipment already. Don't worry about that. Uh, which hopefully try and find some character models and stuff. The actual head of the model and all that stuff instead of the, just the textures for equipment. Come on. So what are we on? 1,600. Just keep going. Sometimes uh, this can take quite a long time and it'll be like 9,000 and you spend such a long time looking for it but you just got to keep paying attention and you will find it. The good thing about this you only have to do it once. Come on. Where the hell are they? Let's check out my notes here see if um, see if I can find something else. Come on just keep going. What did we find there? Oh, we found something on the tank. We don't care about that. Uh, here we go. Well, look at that beautiful thing. Look at that. We found this whole... I believe that's his suit. Is that his suit or his body? We'll keep it anyway. That could be either. So we'll do it and then we'll find out which one it is. Now, hopefully it'll be his uh, actual character body. Um, so let's do that. 252516 actually. Uh, and then we go here and we look for... Hopefully it'll match it. So let's look until it finds it. Just take a, re a rest. Make sure you keep paying attention to that exact model that flashed, uh, well, that came up with the red the first time. So he flashes. Because sometimes we have to do this twice as we, if we stop looking for about a, m a few milliseconds, we'll miss them. Come on, what am I at? 1,600, 700. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah. Uh, come on. 
So yeah, this is likely to be a bit higher, a fair bit higher. For example, if it's a 2,500, it could be about 3,000 and something, or it could be closer to 2,500. But we got expected to reach up to a maximum of probably about 3,200. And you find these things out from experience. I mean, um, I'm not that 